you guys don't know about. But uh, 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 in the galleries, uh, galleries out there, there's a lot of Western art and Western inf influence, which is wonderful. And that's a whole other side to give Singleton you might not know. We, we host mostly his biblical work, although there's a couple that kind of cross over, like the uh, Wrath of God that has a Western feel. But uh, you're talking to a real life cowboy legend who used to ride professionally. Tell us how that, tell us a little bit about that background and maybe how that influenced and made you the man you are in business. Oh boy, this is, this is really a stretch. I was raised on a ranch in North Dakota and uh, unlike Texas, we didn't have running water or electricity. I mean, it was a working ranch. I mean, we had the cattle, we rode horses every day. Uh, when we got a little bit older, my brother and I, we, we brought in a, uh, we put in a corral and a bucking chute and we practiced. And we, we rode for about three years when I was going to college. And that's where I made my money. It was, it was a very good part of my life. Uh, we did some things that were wrong. A friend of mine, uh, his dad owned a big sales barn. And when the ranchers brought their rank horses in on Wednesday for the sale on Saturday, we borrowed them and bring them out and practice on them. And it was like you hated to get on them because they were such great horses, but you didn't, you didn't dare not to get on because you didn't want to be a chicken. So it, one day one of these horses got away from us and we were in deep trouble. But that was my early life. And when I discovered in, on the ranch, my parents came from Switzerland and they, my mom spoke seven languages, English was not one of them. And so it was between French, Italian, German, and her grammar was not good. Obviously I went to a little country school that took two years of speech therapy when I went to high school so people could understand what I was saying. And maybe you still can't understand. But, but that was my early background. And when, uh, on the ranch we had a little, place that we couldn't go in and that where we had the good couch and we had two pieces of art. We had a, uh, uh, a whistler and there were reprints and we had the uh, Malay's Angelus on the wall and I loved the art and when I got old enough I started collecting art and that's how I got into the business. I was in another business and my wife Bonnie told me I had to switch professions and I bought an art company. I was in the business world and the 60s was very good to me. And uh, I took a few years off and I played poker professionally. And I loved it. But, you know, you get in some of these games and it doesn't go exactly the way you want it to go. And Bonnie says, look, for your health, you should do something you want to do. And I really, Wanted, I wanted to go in the art world, but I didn't know if I could, so I opened up, first I opened up two country western nightclubs, and I didn't like that, sold and got out, I opened up five music schools, and all in a short period of time, and that was not interesting. And then this art uh, company became available, and I bought it, and the rest is history. 